Create a light entity, open the editing menu, and select Create Light. A radius of 400 would cover a lot of area, but you would not want it to be very bright. Click Create to create a new light. The entity appears as a small purple dot. If you select it, it will align to the current grid size. If you wish to change the properties of any entity, select the entity and hold the number key corresponding to the property you wish to change. In this case, I will change the radius of this light entity by holding down the one key and scrolling the mouse wheel. Now that there is a light, calculate a light map. To do this, open the editing menu. It can be found under light map or the main editing tab. Full calculate lights. We'll create a light map covering our geometry. The detail of this light map will greatly increase the size of our map file. This can be adjusted by raising the light precision. A higher light precision creates a smaller light map. We want to calculate the lights quickly. We'll raise our light precision to 256 and click Full Calculate Lights or the F7 key. The light object isn't very bright. Another way to adjust an entity's properties is to highlight the entity and press the period key. This will bring up the console where you can manually enter properties. We'll change the light to radius of 800 a red value of 120 green value of 120 and blue value 150 pressing F7 will recalculate the lights The light is mostly concentrated on the ground, so we'll move it up. You can also copy this light by highlighting it, pressing the C key. The spacebar will deselect everything. Now we can paste this light elsewhere in our map. Pressing F7 will recalculate the light map. A good light needs a source. We'll create a street lamp. Some textures have glow maps already applied to them. This will give the appearance that they are glowing if shaders are enabled. You can also use global lighting within your map. To adjust the ambient light, open the editing menu. You can find this under editing, environment settings, or under light map. Set in light shadow color. This will open the environment section of the editing menu. Use the ambient command to set the lowest level of shadow light color. Clicking brown shadows, set the ambient light color to 50 red, 30 blue, 10 green. As you can see, the base light now has a reddish color. You can also use skylights in your map. To do this, open the editing menu by pressing F3. This time we'll go to editing environment settings to open the environment section of the editing menu. Under the skylight tab, you can set the red, green, and blue values of lights that are emitting from the sky. 
warm skylight will set red value of 180, green value of 100, blue value of 70. To see the effect, we need to recalculate the light map. Full calculate lights or press F7. Lights are emanating from the skybox. Our sky is black because there is no skybox currently set. To set a skybox, press the F3 key. Under the editing menu, select the environment settings. The skybox tab has a selection of three skyboxes. Clicking set skybox to sunset flat, issue the console command to load the skybox images from folder data, skyboxes, sunset flat. Pressing enter will load the skybox. You can find more skyboxes in the data folder of the game directory. We started a very basic layout, but there is a problem. Press F1 to switch to walk mode. Press F9 to switch to third person view. All the geometry is quite large in comparison to our player. We can use copy scale paste to resize the entire map. To do this, Press F1 to switch back to edit mode. First, select all of the geometry. Then, press the end key to select any entities within our selection area. This will select the two lights that are placed underneath the street lamps. Press C to copy all the geometry and entities to the clipboard. Pressing backspace will delete any entities we have selected. Pressing backspace again will delete all the geometry within the selection area. Press the tab key to view the paste helper. Holding the G key and scrolling the mouse wheel, we can resize the paste area. Press the V key to paste a resized version of our copied layout. Press F7 to recalculate the lights. Press F1 to switch back to walk mode. It's much better in relation to our player. Press F9 to switch back to first person view. Now that our layout is scaled properly, we need to place player start entities. To do this, highlight a face or you wish to place a player start. Then press F3 to open the editing menu. Under the Entities tab, click Create Player Start. This will display the console command for creating a neutral player start. Pressing Enter will create player start for a neutral player. The entity will align to the current grid size. Decrease the grid size so that you can position it slightly above the ground. The arrow underneath the player start entity indicates the direction the player will be facing when they spawn. To rotate this, hold down the 2 key and scroll the mouse wheel. Press C to copy this entity. Press spacebar to clear everything that's selected. Highlight another selection face and press V to paste a copy of this entity. 
you wish to make a team start, hold down the one key and scroll the mouse wheel. In team mode, blue players will spawn at this player start. You can replace one entity with another. First, copy this player start by pressing C. Press spacebar to deselect. Select another entity. Press the V key. This entity will replace the neutral player start. To move multiple entities, use right click to add to the selection. Then right click and drag to move the entities that you have selected. To find any player start entities within the map, first open the console with the tilde key or forward slash, then type int find in the type of entity that you wish to find. In this case, we'll find all player starts. Pressing enter will find all the player starts within the map. Pressing spacebar will deselect everything. Let's position these player starts more logically around the map. We'll position our team starts all together. And position our neutral player starts. They will not spawn in view of one another. Let's find all of our player starts. Now that we have our player starts, let's add some weapons. Press spacebar to deselect everything. Let's add weapons in areas that will be heavily trafficked. To do this, press F3 to open the editing menu. Under the ints tab, click create weapon. Let's create an SMG, a weapon for entity. Change the type, highlight the entity, and hold the 1 key while scrolling the mouse wheel. Let's copy this entity to other places. To do this, click the entity and press the C key. Press the spacebar to deselect everything. Click a face and press the V key. Now we can change the type of each of these weapons by holding the one key and scrolling the mouse wheel. 